Hi everyone, Rayford Palmer, SCG Divorce Law, Chicagoland Divorce Lawyer on TikTok, and author of the best-selling book, I Just Want This Done, How Smart Successful People Get Divorced Without Losing Their Kids, Money, and Minds, available on Amazon, link in the description below. So today's video, we're going to talk about why somebody files a petition for dissolution of marriage and going to explain about what a petition for dissolution of marriage actually is. So in Illinois, what is a petition for dissolution of marriage? It is the document that starts a divorce case. It is like a complaint in a civil case. It is a document that lists the basic facts, the people involved in a divorce case and the issues. And it is the document that's required to be filed with the court to initiate the divorce. The petition for dissolution of marriage is not a very lengthy document. It's usually a two or three pages. It's filed with the clerk of court and along with a summons, the summons and petition are served on the respondent to initiate or kick off the divorce case. So there are some considerations when thinking about filing the divorce case, aside from why or why not to file a divorce case, I'm talking about very specific considerations and the effect of filing the petition for dissolution of marriage. So let's talk about the pros and cons of filing a petition for dissolution of marriage. So the things that filing that petition do are, number one, it kicks off the divorce case. So now your case is going to be in court and a court process will begin with a specific timeline and eventually the court will require that certain rules are complied with and certain actions are taken, culminating in either the settlement of the case and a written agreement, which is turned into a court order known as a judgment, or a divorce trial where the judge decides the outcome of the case. So you just need to know that once you file a divorce petition or petition for dissolution of marriage, the case is off and running. That also means the meter is running on your divorce attorney and time equals money. So that can be an advantage because you want the case to start moving and you want progression towards a conclusion. It might be a disadvantage if you're trying to negotiate a settlement and you don't want to start that process moving sort of in a start of the roller coaster getting the top and the and the roller coaster starting to move progressively down around the roller coaster. So once that case is filed, it can be stopped. The person who files it could dismiss the petition for dissolution of marriage by filing a specific motion with the court. But the person on the other side of the divorce, your soon to be ex, can also file a counter petition for dissolution of marriage, thereby preventing you from dismissing the case, or at least if you do dismiss it, they can continue on with the divorce process. So just some important things to know about how the divorce gets started and what the petition for dissolution of marriage actually does, putting in train those events toward the conclusion of the divorce. Couple other important things to know about the petition for dissolution of marriage. The date the petition is filed is the date that concludes your marriage for the purposes of setting maintenance, formerly known as alimony in Illinois. So the length of your marriage is from the date you're married until the date you file a divorce case in Illinois. That length of time is used to determine the length of maintenance. Now on our website and other places we describe how that maintenance is determined and we have the ultimate guide to maintenance provided on our website link in the description below note that at every year at every anniversary in your marriage in illinois you reach a break point in maintenance that significantly extends your maintenance obligation up to 20 years where maintenance becomes indefinite in length another significant point about filing that divorce case first is you get to go first at trial in the event there is a trial you and your attorney get to put on your case first. You get to make opening statements first and you get to present your case or what we call the case in chief first. So you get to tell your story first before your soon to be ex gets to tell their side of the story. That's important because it plays on the psychological concept of primacy, meaning the things that you hear first, you tend to remember. Also at the conclusion of the divorce case, your lawyer gets the last word and gets to give a closing argument first but then also a rebuttal argument last. And being able to speak first, but then also tie it up with a summation or a rebuttal to the other lawyer's closing argument last can be a big advantage if you go to trial. Working in favor of those psychological principles of primacy and latency being first and last can be a big advantage if your case should go to trial. 
There is one final advantage to filing that divorce case, and that is access to the court in general. Without getting access to the court, you can't send subpoenas or legal requests for documents to third parties, and you can't legally demand documents from your soon-to-be ex. So getting access to the court is a powerful tool in being able to obtain information that you might need to prove your case. Finally, having access to the court is very valuable also in case you need to bring a motion of any type to require that your soon-to-be ex take some action or refrain from certain action. For example, if they are not allowing you to see the children, getting a court order may be the only way you can force them to give you time with the children. Or if they're preventing you from accessing money or they're spending out of control, the only way to get control of that is probably to get a court order. Therefore, having access to the court by filing the petition for dissolution of marriage may well be critical in your case to get things under control. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions, please put them in the comments below. Always know that our website is available at stglawfirm.com with much more information. We also have a private Facebook group, the Illinois Divorce Support Network, for people interested in learning more about Illinois divorce. For more information about my best-selling divorce book, I Just Want This Done, links to our law firm and more, please see the information in the description below. Please like, share, and comment. Please subscribe so you get more of these informational videos as we produce them. Thank you very much. I'm Rayford Palmer.